Fido Distinguished Audience, and yes, my name is Digital Vimpe, and I'll be your host on Dash Press Media, and actually, we are reporting live on the field, and I will be talking on an entertainment uh, news, and I will be talking about Dele Mamodo weighing on child custody, battle uh, between his niece, Sophia Mamodo and David o. Journalist and uncle to Sophia Momodo, Dele Momodo, has weighed in on the child custody battle between Sophia and singer Davido. The former lovers are currently in court over the custody of their nine years old daughter, Imadi. Davido recently filed against a suit on Sophia, demanding and the share a joint custody of their daughter. A decision Sophia is against and has filed a counter suit. Momodo, in a post on his official handles on Saturday, July 6, disclosed that the court has referred between Davido and Sophia for possible settlement by the alternative dispute resolution ADH. Sharing his opinion over the ongoing saga, Dele advised Davido and Sophia to have a proper structure to put in place for their daughter's welfare and take the issue off social media. His statement read, Last night I received a distressing message from Mr. David Adeleke, aka Davido. He was obviously devastated by the court counter affidavit submitted to the court earlier in the day in response to his affidavit seeking a joint custody of his daughter with my niece, Sophia Momodun. I had seen David affidavit about two weeks ago and I was very surprised as David and I had spoken on a video call days earlier with him and Pastor Toby Adigwega and he never told me he had any custody issues with my niece. So you can imagine my confusion to find out via social media and subsequently confirmed by my niece that he had filed an action in court seeking joint custody of their daughter. During the reference video call, we were all very excited about his forthcoming wedding ceremony and events and family congratulated him about. Prior to this, David had told me he eventually spoke to their daughter after a long law of about two years. He was very happy and excited. So I thought everything was settled and he and Sophia would now have the opportunity of taking maximum care of their daughter. I had offered special thanks to David Dad, Dr. Hadideji Adeleke, for his kindness and support for our daughter during the period of David's absence. I had also taken Sophia and the daughter to my very dear friend, Governor Ademola Adeleke, seeking his intervention. To the best of my knowledge, there was never a problem of joint custody. The issues were non-payment of school fees for several sessions, non-payment of accommodation and salaries of the nanny. There was no car dedicated to David's daughter and so on. Mercifully, I mentioned all to Dr. Adedeji Adeleke and he responded positively like a true grandfather on the issues of non-payment of school fees. David's dad cleared the bills. He also um, and also set up payment for future bills. He gave his granddaughter a car to take her to school. The remaining issue was on accommodation. David's dad verbally offered his, in his discussion with me one of their family's apartments in Oniru, Estate Victoria Island. However, maybe due to miscommunication, David Lloyd had communicated otherwise and um, Softer clarified for me. She politely declined the offer and her reason was tenable in my view because since she's not married to David, she can't be comfortably living in a place one with David's family member. She and her daughter have been living in a Koyi before David and Sophie started their latest quarrel. Sophia's request was that David should pay half of the accommodation while she would pay the other half. David says he could only contribute five million handily. My opinion is that the absence of Karamadiri between David and Sophia had caused this debacle. I have cautioned repeatedly that the daughter must not be allowed to suffer or be treated like a psycho class child. David's global status makes this imperative. Sophia allowed David access to the daughter, provided she has many nanny around two for seven. The nine years old herself made this request and I believe this should be favorably considered and accepted. My grandniece had been released to go house with her cousins on several occasions. The governor daughter Nikia was at Sophia house with the governor grandson last Christmas day, despite the fact that there was a handful notice and she still granted access. Two months ago, the governor's son, Sina Rambo, requested a play date between the kids and Sophia, rented her to children's place in Victoria Highland for them to spend hours together. The only time she couldn't join her father's family was when her grandfather requested to go on vacation with her for three weeks last year as the notice was too short and Sophia had already paid for their own trip due to lack of communication between the parents. The court yesterday referred the case for possible settlement by the alternative dispute resolution in the house section of the court during the settlement week and I strongly advise that David and Sophia engage truly with the process as opposed to making harmful and irreversible statement on social media which not only violates the law but the interest of their child. I have in the past nine years tried my best to ensure amicable resolution of dispute and encourage both parents to have a proper structure put in place for the welfare of their daughter. It is important to know that Sophia did not instigate this court action and is only seeking to protect their daughter and ensure that there is a structured, safe and sustained manner in which father and child can engage with each other. The directly rhetoric in the media should be avoided by all means as this is the only further influence what is already a traumatic experience for all parties involved, especially the child in question. So I think here, Dele Momodo is just narrating the whole incident of his involvement. So basically, Dele Momodo actually felt that their issues have already been resolved, but unknown to him, they have not resolved their issue because this was their latest issue. Now, if I was to share my perspective, 
Now, what is my opinion of David and um, David and um, Sophia? I would say that these two people are grown up adults, and putting their child in the midst of social media is not actually advisable. If they want to resolve their issue, the nurses really don't need to use social media to resolve their issues or even use the law. They can come together and form a dialogue where the two families come together and resolve this issue diplomatically. I don't really understand whether it's obsession or whether there is still love involved, but all I know is that the way forward is that the two parties and their families should come together and resolve this without putting themselves and their child into the limelight. So if you have your own opinion, kindly please comment it and share on Dash Press Media. And also, I would like to give you a reminder of our services. We are at Dash Press Media. What we do is that we are into online journalism, media, um, blogging, newspaper magazine and if you need any of all these services don't hesitate to call or whatsapp or it's plus two three four eight one four seven four eight zero zero three six and also um i would like that at the end of this video you can like share and subscribe to dashboard media i'll see you guys in another video bye